Unify have different ways you can control the broadcast of your Wi-Fi SSID. The one we're going to have a look at today is something called Wi-Fi scheduling. What this allows you to do is set a certain period of time where you can either choose to broadcast or suppress your SSID. Now, this is relatively straightforward to do and quite simple and easy. However, there are a couple of things that you need to look out when you're setting it up. So we'll run through those in this video. So make sure you stick around to know exactly how this works. For those of you who are new here, be sure to hit that like button if you do enjoy this video and subscribe for more weekly videos. For now, let's jump straight in. So let's start by, so we're on our UDM Pro. So we're on our UDM Pro, let's start by going to the network. So let's jump in by going to the settings and Wi-Fi. So when you look at this straight away, the first thing you want to do is pick your wireless network that you wish to block or stop the signal from being broadcasted. Uh, you click on edit. You go down to advanced and for example, um, yeah, let's go set the time between 10 and 11. What you would expect to happen here is you're picking between 10 and 11. So you look at block starts, which turns the Wi-Fi off and blocks end, uh, the block ends, uh, it turns the Wi-Fi back on. So between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. you would expect that to happen. So you click done, you click apply changes and we will give that a second and let that go off and do its thing. Just do note that when you do do this, it will reprovision your Wi-Fi network, so it will knock out any existing connections you have at the moment. So that is now so that's reprovisioned now. Um, if we go across and if we go across and have a look here, you can see that the IoT network still pops up. Um, we are still getting it, and if I try to connect to it. I'll probably get an IP, I'm not connected to it, but if I try and connect to it, I will get an IP and be able to browse and do anything that I need to do. So it makes you think, well, I've just set the block up between 10 and 11 and I can still access this network. So, okay, so let's go back. Um, maybe there's something, some anomaly or something that goes on in there. So let's go ahead and block the whole thing. So let's click on this. Let's go from midnight all the way till 11.59 and then we click done. Apply the changes and again we'll go off and let that provision, let that do what it needs to do so let's just give that a moment. Okay so that's gone ahead and reprovisioned itself so again we'll just jump across, we'll have a look at the network, um, even if I turn my Wi-Fi off and on again um, you can still see the IoT network still exists. Now maybe this is a bit of a gotcha or maybe the way Unify intended for this to be designed, not quite sure yet but from my understanding, this is a little bit weird. It's not how I would anticipate it. So the way I just showed you is what I would anticipate, how it would work. However, let me show you the next part. So it doesn't actually exist in this area, so we need to go to the classic settings. So we'll go to wireless networks, and then we select the IoT. So if we go down here, we can see what we selected. We did midnight to 11.59 on the Sunday, but there's actually a button up here which says reverse wireless LAN schedule. So I think when Unify set this up, what they intended to do is we want this to broadcast when you tick it. So for example, the Monday, we say, yeah, okay, we want this to go from 9 a.m. We want the Wi-Fi network to be broadcasted from 9 a.m. To 5 p.m. Now what that would do is any time between this area here and this area here it wouldn't broadcast. Um, however the reverse of the wireless LAN uh, the reverse of the wireless LAN schedule allows you to just pick the points that you don't want the network to work. So to put it simply if we have this unticked it will broadcast during this time and if we have it un and if we have it ticked it will block it during this time. So let's go ahead and save that. Let's allow that to reprovision, and then we'll have a look at what our network does. So there we go, uh, that's reprovisioned again. And if we just flick back across now and have a look at our network, you can see the IoT network has disappeared. So you can get this working in the new settings as well, and I'm gonna quickly show you how to do that. So what you would do is just go to your IoT network, make sure this is enabled. So if you just wanna be able to select the time that you wanna block, just make sure this is ticked, Ensure it's saved. Go to your new settings. 
uh, click on IoT network or whatever network you want to set this up on. Um, and then basically we can go here, delete, um, let that go off and apply. I didn't really actually want to do that. I wanted to actually set it up. So let's just let that reprovision quickly. Okay, let's go back into the IoT network, go down to advanced, and we can say between 10 and 11, we want to block the Wi-Fi. So now, the way I see this is it actually works the way you would anticipate or the way it reads. So you block the Wi-Fi, so you're blocking the signal from 10 a.m. and ending it at 11 a.m. So we click done, click apply. So we'll let that go off and do it. And what we would still anticipate to see is nothing when we look at the wireless network. So let's just let that go off and provision and then we will have a look in a second. Okay, so we're, we're back now, it's reprovisioned itself. So if we jump across and have a quick look, we can see that Wi-Fi network IoT still doesn't exist. So, and that is how you would make sure you set your scheduling for your Wi-Fi. Now, one final thing just before we finish up. The one thing you wanna keep an eye on is when you edit in the new settings, it will allow you to set multiple events, okay? Um, one thing to note in the classic settings, when you go to the IoT network in here, if you tick a day, it doesn't allow you to put in multiple areas. So for in the classic settings, you can only set a specific period, so a single period. Um, however, in the new settings, it will allow you to set up uh, multiple times where you might want to ban the Wi-Fi. So for example, between eight and 10 in the morning and six and eight in the evening. So there's various times that you can have multiple slots where that works. Now, the way this is set up, it seems as if Unify are in some sort of transition period. Now, as I said in the video itself, the way I read the first one in the new settings would be that you can block and unblock. However, just remember the setting that I showed you in terms of the reverse wireless LAN schedule. If you keep that ticked, the new settings will work as you would imagine it to do. However, if you wish to keep it reversed, you're more than welcome to do so as well. But I hope you found this video useful. If you do, do hit the like button below or leave me a comment if you wish to see more videos like this. For now, this is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.